an alley oop over to Menezes. Back in, what a feed to Anthony. Gets it to go. At the free throw line. Splash. Oh! oh! And welcome to the Master Athletic Center for the second Tier 2 semifinal game between the Fuchs Mizrahi Mayhem and the TABC Storm. Now again, what's it going to take for one of these teams to come through and get to the Tier 2 championship game tomorrow? Well, we got a rematch of last year's Tier 1 qualifier, TABC versus Fuchs. They're each going to have to play efficient basketball, hit their shots, and play good defense if they want to move on. And this was the NCSY Summer Pregame Show, best summer ever. Coming up next, we have starting lineups and tip offs. Don't go anywhere. And welcome to the Max Stern Athletic Center. Just about started to get in the way. And the starting lineups are brought to you by the Yeshiva University Office of Admissions. As you start your college journey, make sure to check out, visit us online to check out all the great events and opportunities we have for YU students. And the starting lineups. First, for the Fuchs Mizrahi Mayhem. At guard, number seven, Eitan Joel. Number eight, Stephen Brennis. Number 30, Nate Jacobs. Number 11, Efrain Blau. And I believe number 24, Adiel Charvit. And for TABC Storm, we have number 24, Natano Benlulu. Number 55, Moshe, Moshe Kaiser. Number one, Ezra Sofen. Number four, Svi Schreiber. And number 35, Rafi Suss. And TABC started with possession, but there's already some confusion. And it wouldn't be a game without some confusion. You know, Seth, what wouldn't there be? Yeah, we're always, we're always used to our, our nice bit of confusion in the Max Turn Athletic Center. Very often has to do with the shot clock. I'm going to be honest, not 100% sure what it had to do with this time. Looks like it, in fact, was the shot clock. And looks like we're actually going to get this game started in just about a second. And just to remind the viewers at home what's at stake here, uh, we just saw DRS beat Berman in the first Tier 2 semifinal game. So DRS awaits the winner of this game, and those teams will play tomorrow in a Tier 2 championship game at approximately 12.30. And the loser will play in a competition game in the morning at 9.30 a.m. There's a nice elevator screen for Ben Lulu at the top of the key. Shot won't go as Fuchs comes away with the rebound. Yeah, it was a good thought there by Ben Lulu, but he wasn't able to get it that time. And TABC coming in a 1-2-2. With Ezra Sulpin as the one on top of the key. Jacobs inside the Blau. Back out Charvit for three. And he's got it. Yeah. Fuchs Mizrahi on the board. Three nothing. Great passing by Fuchs over there. Inside, outside. They were able to find Charvit in the corner. And he nailed the three. Sulpin finds Ben Lolu. Guarded closely by Fine Blau. Sofen drives, goes up with the left hand, gets it to go. Incredible finish from Sofen. Yeah, great drive from him. And good defense by Mizrahi, but he was able to get it down. Jacobs. Jacobs drives baseline, finds Blau inside Blau. Nice reverse layup, can't get it to go. And here comes the ABC. Yeah, Brian Blau, one of the better players in this tournament. Usually gets those to fall, but couldn't get that one that time. And the Mayhem in a man-to-man -man defense. We've seen them do that most of this tournament. So no surprise there. Yeah, I was talking to the assistant coach pregame. He said they really like their man-to-man. -man, and in order to win, they're going to have to make TABC play their game today. And shot from Rafi Suss won't go. And Fran Blau collects the rebound. And here to come the Mayhem. Out, Jacobs. Double team. Splits the double. Awkward off-balance shot, gets it to go. Nate Jacobs with a nifty finish. Yeah, it was a great finish by Jacobs there. Looked a little off-balance, but was able to hit the bucket. 5-2, Fuchs Mizrahi lead. Schreiber over to Suss. Ball screen from Schreiber. 
up top, Ben Lolo. He's got space up top with key for three. He pulls it, no go. And it's rebounded by Steven Bennett. That was a deep three from Ben Lulu, but he's one of their best players. He can usually hit those. Just didn't get that one to fall. Jacob back to Brennison, top of the key. Here's Joel inside Blau. Out, Charvit for three. Can he do it again? He does. Another corner three for Charvit. Jacobs wanted the ball on the other side, but Charvit hit his three anyway. It didn't matter. Yeah, Kutch was rocking, getting anything they want, getting the ball to the high post to Blau and having Blau facilitate, finding the open shooter that uh, surrounds the rim perimeter. And it's an 8 2 lead. Ben Lolo. Soaking in the corner. Guys middle. Out to Ben Lolo. Mid range jump shot won't go. And go comes down with the rebound. Joel and Brennan is passing it back and forth against this 1 2 2. Jacobs open for three, and he's got it. Yeah, it's a very interesting move, the 1 2 2. We don't often see that, but with all these corner threes that Fuchs is hitting, I wonder if Coach Oz for TABC may switch it up at the next time out. Yeah, you have to wonder if adjustments are going to be made against this dominant shooting team in Fuchs, Mizrahi. 11 2 lead, four minutes into this game. Sofren drives out, sus. Thought about the triple. Back out by Lolu. Blau falls down by Lolu over to Kaiser. Kaiser won't get the three to go. And they just can't get anything against this Fuchs Mizrahi man defense. They're really going to have to figure out how to get the ball in the basket if they want to win. That's a bold statement there. Uh, Sharvit gets the ball inside. Goes up with the layup. Can't get it to go. Ben Lolu comes down with it. And he'll post the tempo for the TABC Storm. Driver blocked by Sarvi, and that's going to be a jump ball. And it will stay with the possession of TABC as we have some substitutions here. Yeah, going back to that previous play, I know TABC trying to switch it up, trying to push on offense, but I don't know if I would have shot that one on three, especially with the 6 5 Sarvi right in my face. And Charlie Simmons, number 44, has checked in the game, as well as Aiden Guerin, number 43, as TABC looking for some spark offensively. Yeah, Aiden Gurren for TABC has been proven to have been a spark plug a little bit off their bench. At 6'4", he's really good at grabbing rebounds, and he can even shoot from the perimeter. Let's see if he can help their offense and their defense today. Jacobs, nifty move. Can't get the left hand to lay up to go. Sofren, Euro step inside. He's fouled. Cannot get the layup to go, but he'll have two free throws coming up. Yeah, as we see on the replay, it was a good drive by Silfen, and he'll be rewarded for two free throws. As Silfen knocks down the first free throw. Again, reminder, this is not the last game of the night. We have two games after this. So hold off your bedtime for now. I know a lot of you like to go to sleep at 8 o'clock. It's not going to happen tonight. As Jacobs. Got to get those eight hours somehow. Uh, you can add them up over a couple days. It's fine. <laughs> As Jacobs pulls back, thought about the triple. Spins into the lane, loses the ball. Ben Lolo comes up with it. Yeah, Jacobs maybe trying to do a little too much there. Just lost the ball. And a great job by Ben Lolo going into the body of Blau to draw the foul. And he'll go to the line for two. And that's going to be F. Ryan Blau's first personal foul of this game. Yeah, Benlulu kind of found the ball, took it down the lane, and was able to draw the foul from Blau. And Benlulu knocks down the first free throw. Yeah, with TABC, we always know Natano Benlulu, he's their guy. It's really going to come down to if they, he can get help and enough help both offensively and defensively in order to beat this Fuchs team. As Fuchs with 11-5 lead as Benlulu knocked down both free throws. If Ryan Blau, top of the key, took too many steps, shuffled his feet, and that's going to be a travel TABC basketball. Yeah, you gotta be, you got to watch your feet over there. You can't shuffle like that. They're going to call that one every time. 
and we have a timeout. We're going to send you to a quick commercial break. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center. About six minutes into this game, Fuchs Mizrahi leading TABC 11 to five. Yeah, it's pretty much been all Fuchs so far. TABC can't really get much going on offense and haven't really been able to get too, much, too many stops on defense either. It's really been all Fuchs so far. Let's see if TABC can make some adjustments out, out, out of the timeout. And it's been Lolu out to Charlie Simmons. Simmons looking for Guerin, and there's a miscommunication there. That's going to be a turnover. Yeah, especially after the timeout, you'd think they'd, they'd be in sync. Really got to be smart with your passes, especially down six already. And checking the game now for Fuchs Mizrahi. That's number 10, Eitan Gekovic. And taking a seat will be Adiel Sarvi, who has hit two threes already this game. As Jacobs over to Lau. Wow, hard drive step out to Brennis for three. That looked like it was tipped, and it was recovered by Fuchs Mizrahi. Joel goes up with the photo, can't get it to go. Lau there, back out to Jacobs. He's a shooter. That won't, won't go. Fight for the rebound, and Fuchs Mizrahi gets it again. Jakovic over to Jacobs. Jacobs out to Blau. Drives left side, goes up to... Loses it, that's going to be a foul, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, and that's a defensive possession that cannot happen for TABC. We saw it in the game in their Tier 1 qualifier against Valley Toro, just getting absolutely killed on the offensive glass. I think that was three or four offensive rebounds in a row for Fuchs. TABC cannot let that happen if they want to win this game. As Blau knocks down the first free throw. And if Ryan Blau, he's a force inside. If he gets position down low, a defense is in deep trouble. So again, TABC needs to do a good job. Peter came on the outside as he hits the second one to go. 13-5, Fuchs Mizrahi lead. Yeah, he's Fuchs's leader, especially on the inside. He often likes to stay outside and then pump fake and drive in. If they can stop him driving, then that'll be, that'll be a key for them going forward. Duran. The three from Yaakov Solomon who didn't fall. And we're about under a minute of this first quarter. With the bucket here, Fuchs will take a double-digit lead. Blau tried to find a cutting. Jakovic, but recovered by Joel. Jacobs, top of the key. Brennis, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Up top, Jacobs, he's got some space, pulls up that short. Yeah, it didn't look fully set over there. Maybe rush the shot a little bit and it came up short. Simmons over to Guerin. Guerin drives, goes up, contact, shot won't fall, rebound, Schreiber, he can't get it to go. And Fuchs Mizrahi comes out the other way. 20 seconds in the first quarter. Blau goes up to the left, gets it to go. 10 point game. Yeah, a little surprising to me that they didn't hold for the last shot, but if you score the bucket, I can't really complain. Seven seconds on the clock, Benlolu looking to go middle. He's got nowhere to go, out to Simmons. Two seconds, Simmons has to put off an off balance shot, won't go. And now do it for the first quarter. A dominant performance by Fuchs Mizrahi. And we're going to send it to a quick commercial break. Welcome back to the Max Stern Athletic Center. 
where the Fuchs Mizaki Mayhem lead the TABC Storm by a score of 15 to 5. And follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with a Pathways degree, dual degree, or early assurance program. Join us at our March info session taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions. That's yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions and start planning for your future today as TABC gets ready to start the second quarter yeah, down 10 points. They're really hoping this quarter goes different than the first one. They really weren't able to get much generated on offense or really defensively, and they find themselves down 10, eight minutes into the game. Let's see if they can recover before halftime. Sofen. Simmons. Thought about the triple for a second. Guarded by Gekovic. Nine seconds on the stock clock. Backdoor cut. Intercepted by Jacobs. And here comes the Mayhem. Jacobs over to Blau. Blau drives middle. Gorgeous pass inside to Gekovic, and he'll get the two. Yeah, great find by Efrain Blau. We saw him driving in before. And when he drives, they know to watch out, but that left Gekovic wide open underneath. Good job by Blau to find the open man. Sofen. Over to Simmons. The ball's came from Guerin. Gets inside. Can't get the layup to go. Blau comes away with it. And here he comes in the open floor. He'll hold it and slow this game down. Yeah, that was great defense there by Fuchs, but they're stifling man-to-man. -man. TABC hasn't been able to get anything started on offense. And Blau gets inside on the drive. That's going to be a foul on the floor as he was about to pass. And Fuchs will inbound from underneath the basket. As Ben Lolu will check back into this game. For Charlie Simmons for TABC. Yeah, Ben Lulu is really a massive part of TABC's game. I think after the one or two possessions that they, that they had on offense, Coach Oz realizes he needs Ben Lulu back in this game. And Blau couldn't get that layup to go, but again, Fuchs Mizaki with the other, with another offensive rebound as Brennis over to Blau. Blau, hard jab step, spins to the middle, kicks it out. Joel thought about it. Back up Gekovic. A pass inside to cut in Jacobs. Jacobs adjusts his body, can't get the layup to go. As Ben Lolu comes away with it, and Jacobs picking up a frustration foul after that missed layup. Yeah, a little bit of a silly foul there by Jacobs. You never want to take a foul in the backcourt like that. And the ref's just making sure they have the right number for the foul there. There's on number 30, Nate Jacobs. Yeah, I think there was a little bit of a delay in them putting the right number up on the scoreboard. I think that's what that was about. And now we have number 30 on the scoreboard with the foul. Ben Lolu for three. That's short. And Joel comes away with it. And right now, Fuchs Mizrahi in complete control of this game on both ends of the floor. Yeah, you said it. There's not much TABC has been doing that really shows that, they're, that they really want to win this game. Lau. Up top, Joel. Joel spins. Hands off. A cut in Jacobs. Jacobs shot in and out. Won't go. And secured by Aiden Gerd with the rebound. Rafi Suss with the ball. Waiting for the set to be called. And Suss drives right, hands off Kaiser. Up top, Zirin. Thought about the triple. He's got six seconds on the shot clock. Pass in the corner to Suss for three. That one's long. And Bonolu comes away with it. Bonolu been guarded by Blau. Out to Suss for three again. This time he gets it. And a big bucket for TABC. Yeah, that was a great offensive possession. Good teamwork. I really like the passing over there. They were able to get the offensive board and it turned into three points for them. Blau crosses over, goes up right-handed, rolls off the rim. He gets his own rebound, kicks it out. Jacobs thought about the triple, gives it back to Blau. Blau drives middle, jump stop. Jump stop, can't get it to go. And TABC secures the offense, the defensive rebound. Ben Lolu, and there's going to be a timeout, I believe, by... TABC, and we're gonna stay here because NCSY is the summer, is the 
premier summer trip provider for Jewish teens across the world with over 20 plus programs spanning the U.S., Israel, and Europe. NCSY Summer can find something for you. Visit summer.ncsy.org. So if you're a guy like me that loves hiking, that loves going out to the woods and finding, you know, traveling all across the country, NCSY got something for you. If you're a ball player, NCSY's got something for you. So again, if you're a learner, which I'm also a learner, NCSY's got something for you. So again, if you have no plans for summer, check out NCSY's summer. And again, Fuchs with a dominant start to this game, but the last few possessions, they have not gotten much offensively. Yeah, it's been a little stagnant for them in the second quarter, kind of taking some, some shots where they're a little too guarded. I'd like to see them maybe try to get some of their guys open on the perimeter. We saw Adil Sharvit hit two corner threes early in the game. I'm surprised they haven't tried to go back to him since then. Yeah, Fuchs Bizarre, he's trying to get into the paint, which is a good idea always, but not finishing there. They've got a couple great looks over the last few possessions, have not been able to finish them. As TABC has also struggled, they hit a big three by Rafi Sass a couple possessions ago. But besides that, I've not done anything in the second quarter. Yeah, in general, it's been a little bit more of a quiet quarter this one than the last one. I don't know who that favors. I guess we'll have to see. Schreiber working on Gekovic. Can't get the layup to go. Jacobs over to Blau. Up top, Jacobs. Blau. Attacks on Sus. Here comes the double team. Kicks it out. Joel over to Jacobs. Excellent defense by the TABC Storm to start this possession. As Jacobs drives left, kicks it out. Brennis for three. No, he adjusted. Three seconds on the shot clock. Oh, that's going to be a kick ball. It's going to reset the shot clock. Yeah, a little unfortunate for TABC over there after a great defensive possession. Fuchs actually looks a little bit lost almost on offense ever since that, that run early in the first quarter. Kind of just passing it around aimlessly without any real goal of getting it to the basket. And let's see if that changes here. Inside to Blau. Blau surrounded by defenders. He still gets it to go. And once he gets positioned down low, he's a difficult man to stop. Yeah, you really see the talent of Ephraim Blau, 6'3 forward, using all of that 6'3 to body up three TABC defenders and get the ball in the net over there. And it keeps the crowd getting into this game. Yeah, a lot of people making the eight-hour drive from Cleveland to watch their to watch the mayhem in this tournament. And so far they've been rewarded as they're currently up 11 in a tier two semifinal. As Schreiber can't get the layup to go on the other end. And Jacobs with the ball now for the mayhem. Lau. Looking for something to do. Over to Jacobs. Fuchs a little bit stagnant here these first 20 seconds. And that's going to be a reaching foul on Silfen. Yeah, there really hasn't been much movement on offense from Fuchs. Not just on ball, but even off ball. Everyone's kind of just staying still. Uh, I like that they put in Charvit, though. Let's see if they can get him firing from three again. Jacobs, top of the key, three. Won't go as Sofen secures the rebound. Up top, Sofen drives, kicks out, Sus attacks the closeout, kick out, Guerin for three. He can hit those, not that time. Yeah, as his height may trick you at 6 4, but he really can hit those threes. You really got to respect him from out there, even though he didn't get that one. Jacobs. Here's Blau, Blau, and he's got called for that jab step travel a couple times today, lifting up that second foot before he puts the ball on the ground. That's going to be a travel every time. Yeah, that's already the second time he's been called for that today. He's really got to be careful, otherwise the refs are going to call that every time. Just over two minutes to go. Reminder to stay tuned for the Camp Step It Up halftime show coming up in just over two minutes. Sus. Over to Ben Lulu, thought about the triple, drives middle, tough shot, blocked by Blau. Yeah, Ben Lulu maybe trying to take too much into his own hands, but Blau was right in his face and got the block. 
and the Mayhem a little bit out of control there with the Aaron pass. Yeah, I would have liked to see them slow it down a little bit over there. I understand what they were trying to do, but that pass was too high and too far. The bad news for TABC is that they've scored eight points. The good news is that they've only given up 19, so there's still someone in this game. As Belolu kicks out Sauce, carrying handle the pass. I believe it was tipped by Jacobs. And that's going to be a turnover and Fuchs Mizaki basketball. Yeah, going back on your earlier point, you know, Fuchs really did well on, on offense in the, first, in the first quarter, but here in the second quarter, the entire scoring has been Fuchs 4, TABC 3. So really great defense by both teams, and I'm sure both teams are looking to get something offensive going offensively. And another missed three for Fuchs as Joel can't get the three to go. Yeah, I don't mind that shot, though. He was open, and he can't hit those. So even though it didn't fall that time, I like to see the initiative from Joel taking that shot. A little overwhelming to go in this first half. TABC trying to crack double digits. It's open. Ben Lilu trying to get inside the Schreiber. Schreiber gets the layup to go. A beautifully designed set out of the TABC offense. Yeah, that was a nice post move from Schreiber. And Ben Lulu with the fine. Schreiber was able to finish. Well, over to Brennis. Tried to force a pass into Joel, but deflected by Sofen. And here come the storm. Yeah, that's been the story for Fuchs so far. Just bad passes and just aimless offense in this in this second quarter. Sofen drives, goes up with the left hand, gets it to go. And we got ourselves the ball game here, seven point game. Yeah, after saying that there was only 4-3 in the scoring, TABC has hit four buckets in the last minute as the shot clock is turned off. I'm assuming Fuchs is gonna hold for the last one of the half. And Blau is doing just that. 20 seconds on the clock. He's by Sus. And Joel will now hold it. Nine seconds on the clock. Jacobs. Let's see over to Brennis. Five seconds. Jacobs. He's got two seconds. He's not going to get a shot off, is he? And that will do it for this first half. Excellent defensive performance in that last possession. And that will do it for this first half. He's 19. TABC 12. And let's see if we can get an interview with SJ Tannenbaum. Standing by with the Kitchen Zaki coach. SJ, are you ready? SJ, take it away, SJ. As I'm here with Zach Katz, the head coach of the Fuse Mizrahi Mayhem. Coach, you're up by seven going into halftime. What have you seen in the first half that you liked? And what have you seen that you think could be improved going into the second half of today's game? I think our defense has been good. Again, we have 12 points in the half against a good team. It's pretty solid. Offensively, we just got executed. We're getting the looks. We're just not uh, capitalizing on them. How important is you is it for you to have your your home fans here? Obviously, driving eight hours, some people all the way from Cleveland, Ohio, here to support you guys against a team like TABC, who's just over in New Jersey, not so far away. How important is that fan base for you guys? Yeah, it's been impressive. The fans have energy. Energy has been amazing the whole tournament. Um, the guys failed off that. It's been cool. Thanks so much for the time, Coach. Good luck the rest of the tournament. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, SJ. We're gonna send to a commercial break, but when we return, step it up halftime show. Don't go anywhere.
My story started with a letter in the mail. I took my first steps in New York and felt the energy all around me. I connected with my Rebbe on the first day of Sheer. My story was learning that the mitochondria is more than just the powerhouse of a cell. I made my painting from scratch. Like, really, from scratch. My roommates came here from four different countries. We lit one menorah together. My story was practice every night. Chavruta every night. Subway rides. City lights. In my story, my name was in headlines. The bylines. The University Museum. My story was my internship at the Supreme Court. Dancing with the Israeli flag in Times Square. My story was participating in the only hackathon, not on Shabbat. The Career Center found me my first job at a top business analytics firm. My story was becoming best friends with my Chavruta. And holding that NCAA trophy. My story started here. My story is just beginning. News. Camp Step It Up is back at Herbert College in Geneva, New York for summer of 2023. Camp will start on June 21st and end on August 2nd with one to six week options. We have an option for you. Hobart is located just four and a half hours north of New York City and busing will be offered to camp from New York City and TNF. Camp is open to all boys and girls grades 3 to 12 with one to six week options available. Gorgeous campus facilities include air conditioned rooms, six indoor basketball courts, a weight room, a lakefront, and beachfront on and near campus lounges and more. For more information, email office at campsteppitup.com or visit timestepitup.com or call 888-600-0908. And we're just about ready to get the second half underway. And what TABC has climbed back in this game after a very, very slow first quarter for them. Yeah, they really came out almost sleeping in the first quarter, but they really... They really stepped it up defensively, limiting Fuchs to four points in the third quarter. Let's see if that defensive momentum can carry into the rest of this game. It's going to be a key for TABC if they want to overcome that seven-point deficit. And the same starting five will start this second half as Fuchs will start with possession. And these, four, these first four minutes are crucial in determining how the rest of this game is going to go. Yeah, let's see who maybe one team can go on a run here. Fuchs can extend the lead to double digits, or TABC can make the really close game as Charvit pops from three and gets that to go. He hit two big threes in the first quarter, and he starts the second half right where he left it off the first quarter. Yeah, good sign for Fuchs and Zaki. Having Charvit do that. As Cyber over to Sofen. Elevator screen for Ben Lolu for three. In and out. Yeah, I like that offense from TABC. Ben Lulu couldn't get that one that time, but we know he can hit those. Lau well, working on Ben Lulu. Gets a step on him, goes up with the right hand, gets it to go. And a great start for Fuchs Mizrahi. Yeah, was, you really saw over there the speed and power of Efrayan Blau just blowing past Nintano Ben Lulu on his way to the basket. Schreiber catching the ball, the elbow. A nice adjustment, goes up with the right, can't get it to go. Lau comes away with it. Yeah, Schreiber, Schreiber kind of walked himself into the heart of that defense and wound up getting blocked. And Blau going all the way to the basket and dishing it off for two to Aton Joel. And it's a 14 point game, and we have an early timeout from Coach Oz. Yeah, that's why Efrain Blau is so dangerous because he can drive, he can get the layups, he can get, he can get big shots, but he also knows how to pass it out and find the open man down low when you double him. Let's send it to a commercial break right now. I guess we'll stay on then. <laughs> the more the better. We love it. As it's the 32nd timeout just wrapping up. As you can see, Fuchs Mizrahi well represented in this late Tier 2 semifinal game. Whereas TABC, there's some fans out there, but not many. It's very interesting how the mayhem 
from Fuchs and Zrachi in Beachwood, Ohio, eight hours away. Seem to have more fans than TABC, especially in a Tier 2 semifinal. Like we saw something similar with DRS and Berman, how Berman wound up having more fans. I guess maybe the in-town teams don't really care once it's past Tier 1. Cross drive, takes it out, Kaiser. Kaiser, he's a ball escape from Schreiber. Outside, Sophie. Up top, Kaiser, corner, Suss. Back to Kaiser. Three pointers up, short. Life with the rebound is going to be Ben Lulu. Big offensive rebound for Ben Lulu. Ben Lulu kicks out, Suss, open three. Won't go, and Joe's there for the rebound. Even though they weren't able to get a bucket there, that was a great offensive possession for TABC. They were really able to move the ball well. They did get an offensive board, and just they didn't hit the shots. As Blau picks it out to serve beat, and he has his fourth three of the night. And Fuchs Mizraki has his largest three of the game, a 17-point lead. Yeah, we were saying it earlier, which team is going to cut out of a halftime ring. And so far, it's been all Fuchs. Kaiser for three, desperate, not going to go. As Fuchs comes away with it. Jacobs over to Blau. Blau. A nice crossover. Gets inside. Goes up to the right. He's going to be fouled. And all head to the line for two. Yeah, it was a great drive by Ephraim Blau. Going to the last possession for TABC. Shot look maybe a little forced. In the corner over there. Wonder if Coach Oz is thinking of taking a timeout. Maybe settle this guy down after this 10-0 run by Fuchs. Yeah, we spoke about the importance of the first few minutes of this third quarter and right now Fuchs has done exactly what they needed to do in extending this lead and putting a lot of pressure on the TABC storm as we're going to get a lot of subs here for TABC three guys on three guys off let's see if the new the new personnel on the court can change the momentum yeah as Charlie Simmons Aiden Duran check into the game as well as number 21 Aton Sulmanoff Sulmanoff Immediately off the bench, can't get that three to go as Blau comes away with it. Blau inside, kicks it out. Jacobs, followed by the cripple, drives inside now. Nice reverse. Oh, he gets it to go. What an adjustment to finish the layup. Yeah, that was a great mid air adjustment by Natanel Jacobs. And we like to talk about a Ryan Blau a lot, but Natanel Jacobs is a very good guard for this team. And really, the two of them wind up leading Fuchs. As Duran gets that Florida to go and desperately stops the Fuchs for Zaki run. As Blau has it at the top of the key. Crossover tries to get inside. Ball stripped away. And it will be a jump ball. TABC basketball. Yeah, good defense by Van Lulu over there. Blau tried to Blau tried to dri tried to drive in on him and Van Lulu wasn't giving an inch. Also good help there by number 44, Charlie Simmons, as we saw in the replay. Ben Lolo picking up the ball. Yeah, TABC's going to have to get something going on offense over here if they want to crawl back into this game. It was seven at the half, and now they look turn around, and it's a 19-point deficit. Here's Gurian over to Ben Lolo. Kicks out. There's Simmons. Thought about the triple. Decided against it. Kicks out. Sulmanoff. Loses the ball, recovers four seconds on the shot clock. Gotta put one. They gotta put one up. Sullivan off for three. He gets it off in time. That one's short, and Joel comes away with it. And Joel's gonna take it himself. He's got a lane to go. And one gets it to go. Aton Joel, coast to coast. A good play by Joel there. He really just outsped the TABC defense in route to the layup. Gets fouled on the way up, and now he's gonna have one free throw as well. A 21 point lead for Fuchs now as Gekovic checks into the game for Brennis. And TABC in deep cover right now. Yeah, with only 14 points for TABC, they're really going to have to get something going on offense. As Joel completes the three point play, it's a 22 point lead for the Mayhem. Ben Lolu needs to get going now. Kick out, swimming up, corner, just for three. That's short. And now here come the Mayhem. They've got numbers. Jacobs pulls up for three. Short, but there's Blau for the rebound. And there's Jacobs for the other rebound. And another rebound by Jacobs. Jacobs gets inside and puts it in. 
and everything going Fuchs Mizrahi way right now. Yeah, if you're TABC, you can't let that happen. We saw in their Tier 1 qualifier against Valley Tora that you got to be able to pull boards. Valley Tora had a lot, a lot of offensive rebounds that game, and TABC wound up getting blown out, blown out as a result. They really got to crash the defensive glass if they want to crawl their way back into this game. Well, knocked out of bounds by Sulmanov, and we have some substitutions as number 20, Yona Luber, checks in the game as well as number five, Avisai Jutkowitz, as Ben Lolu, and Rafi Suss take a seat. Yeah, Luba really a fan favorite for the TABC faithful. Let's see if he can get something going. And Jacobs, Jakovic in the corner, drives inside on Luber, puts up a short shot, won't go. Ball on the ground, fight for it, recovered by Fuchs, a gorgeous pass inside, as Sharbeet found Jacobs inside, and Coach Oz has seen enough and he's gonna call a timeout, and we're gonna send it to a commercial break. What does it mean to be yourself? It's being bold. Through the alley, through Terrell, oh my goodness! It's having heart. I know that I have a responsibility and a platform uh, to shed light on the Jewish community as a whole. This is the professional debut for Ryan Terrell. He's trying to be the first ever Orthodox Jew to play in the NBA. But most of all, it's being proud and wearing it. Clipped helped Ryan's fans show their pride. Let us help you spread the pride at your school with your own hassle-free merch shop. Contact Clip today for your free consultation. Never be afraid to be who you are. And welcome back to Max Turner Athletic Center. Follow your path at YU. Learn how you can jumpstart your graduate education with the Pathways Dual Degree or Early Assurance Program. Join us at our March info sessions taking place on campus or on Zoom. For the full schedule, please visit yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions. That's yu.edu slash pathways slash info hyphen sessions and start planning for your future today. As Yona Luber for corner three, that won't go. And Fuchs Mizrahi retains the possession. Yeah, it and looks like TABC is coming out in the press, really just trying to get anything going on either side of the ball. Yeah, if they have any shot in this game, they're going to need to speed this game up. As Jacobs taking his time now, over to Blau. Blau. Over to Jacobs. Gekovic inside, kicks out Joel. And he took too many steps there, and that's going to be a travel. That's the third time we've seen a play like that from Fuchs. I don't know if it's a team-wide thing or it just happened on that play, but they really have to get their feet set before they start moving. And this is Jakob Sloth with the ball now. Guerin over to Jeskowitz for three. Oh, can't get it to go as TABC cannot catch a break in this third quarter. Yeah, they really can't buy a bucket, and it's not even like they're not, even, they're not getting good possessions. A lot of their shots are good shots. They're just really not falling. As Fuchs Mizrahi with another offensive rebound. Jacobs looking to get the ball in the high post. Finds Blau. Blau inside to Gekovic. Gekovic with patience inside. Can't get the layup to go. And Schloss comes away with it. Yeah, Gekovic couldn't finish over there, but it was a great find by Blau. Schloss kicks out. Jutkowitz in trouble. Stolen by Jacobs. Yeah, the, the strength of Natano Jacobs just ripping it away. Sarvi inside, Jekovic out to Joel. Joel finds Blau, Blau with the reverse lab, gets it to go. Yeah, we really see this Fuchs team working well as a team. Lots of passing, good cutting, and it's been a great quarter of basketball for Fuchs. And on top of that, they've only given up two points defensively. Under a minute to go, miss, and here comes Blau. Are and we Blau. gonna get a dunk? There we go! And the crowd loves it. Yeah, we know if Ryan Blau can do that, he's done it pregame. But we finally have one in the Max Stern Athletic Center. And that puts up Fuchs Mizrahi by 30 points. That three won't go from Sulemanov as Fuchs can hold for one here as the shot clock is turned off. Blau, the crowd is still standing up when he catches the ball. Starvit. 15 seconds on the clock, ball popped, popped away. Gekovic comes back with it. Jacobs thought about the triple. 
Fuchs fans Starveet. got excited there. Inside, go for three. That won't go. Five seconds for TABC. They've got to get down the court. Gurren from long range, and that's short. And a complete domination from Fuchs Mizrahi in that third quarter, outscoring TABC 25 to two. And we're going to send him to a commercial break and be back with the fourth quarter. Welcome back to the Max Sterling Flag Center where Fuchs leads TABC 44-14. And we would like to thank Dougie's for being a Proud Max Live sponsor for the best barbecue and grill in Teaneck. Make it right at Dougie's. Go to Dougie'sBarbecue.com to order. The link is in the description of this video below. Coming back from a third quarter where Fuchs dominated, they wound up winning the quarter 25-2. Let's see if TABC can have any kind of response to start out this fourth quarter. Try to keep themselves alive in the Tier 2 playoffs. Oh, it's going to take quite the comeback to make that happen. As Schloss trying to get that underway, and that won't go as Fuchs will get the ball. Yeah, TABC's really been struggling to put the ball in the net. I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that they play in the Yeshiva League. Very often in the Yeshiva League, we get, we get zone defenses. Fuchs known for their man. wonder if that's tripping up TABC a little bit. As Joel inside the Gekovic, ball is lost. He recovers it. Out to Brennan's corner, Charvit for three. And he's got it again, that's number five. Adio Charvit from downtown. Yeah, he's just been automatic from beyond the arc, and especially at six foot five, so hard to defend. Luber for three, that won't go. Followed, Schloss recovers it. Sumanov for three, that won't go either. And Gekovic secures the rebound. And TABC, what a rough shooting night for them so far. Yeah, they really can't buy a bucket, and it's not even as if a lot of their shots are bad. It's just that they're not falling. As a fancy layup from Joel can't go, and TABC will come with it the other way. Sulmanov looking inside the Luber. Back to the corner, Sulmanov. Up top, Schloss. Inside Luber. Kicks out. Dukowicz for three. That won't go. Rebound, Gurin. Mid range jumper is good. Good ball movement by TABC, and they're awarded the Aiden Gurren bucket, cutting the lead to 31. Jeff Gekovic turns it over, Luber with the steal. And here comes Schloss. Luber, Sulmanov thought about the triple. Here sells for the mid range, gets it to go. And, and TABC is on a 4 0 run. Two back to back. I guess if you include the defensive one, it's actually three. Good possessions for TABC. It's a big lead for Fuchs, but you definitely don't want to take your foot off the gas in a playoff game. As Brennis can't get the layup to go. Gurin crosses over, loses it. Luber comes up with it, and Coach Oz will take a timeout, and we'll send it to a commercial break. Center Athletic Center, where the Fuchs-Mizrahi had complete control of this game, 
and come to Como Pizza for some great pizza, pasta, salads, and even awesome breakfast options. We will be streaming the games in the store, making it a great place to watch the games while you eat. Gurin off the flare screen. Three, he's got it. We were mentioning earlier Aiden Gurin, despite being 6'4", definitely can hit the threes, almost similar to Adil Charvit at 6'5", who's just been automatic tonight. Really got to respect him from out there. And here's number five, Elisor Charvit. Number three, Sam Lifschitz. Three from number two, Uriel Joel. So we have a lot of brothers on this team. Yeah, Elliot Surasharvit, a freshman. Uriel Joel, a sophomore. Fuchs kind of starting to empty their bench towards the end of this game. As Guerin gets it to go, and just like that, it's a 24-point game. Eight threes away from this being a tie game. Now, I say that half serious, half joking, but again, you never know in basketball. And that's going to be a foul on Schloss. Trying to D up on Ori Gorfinkel. Yeah, in basketball, you never know. If Reggie Miller could get all those points in 11 seconds, then who knows what TABC could do with 4 minutes and 32 seconds. The question is, are the Knicks as bad as TABC is playing right now? They might be worse, so again, hard to compare. Not this season, though. No. That's true. Jalen Brunson is a baller. That's very true. As Charvit inside Wolfson. Wolfson kicks it out. Lips just thought about the triple. Decides against it. Trying to dribble past his defender. Can't do it. That ball's going to go out of bounds. And it'll be TABC basketball. And don't look now, but TABC's on a 9-0 run. But yeah. again, probably too little too late. It's a little bit what we were talking about earlier. Taking your foot off the gas. Fuchs has done it a little bit, but I wonder how much longer... How much longer Fuchs' coach is gonna, is gonna let TABC go on a run for before he brings his starters back in to close it out. As Schloss thought his teammate was on the bench, or I guess he thought one of the bench players was his teammate, threw it out of bounds and it'll be Fuchs from the hockey basketball. And if that isn't a symbolic play for this offense for TABC, I don't know what is. Yeah, it's kind of been that it's been that kind of day for TABC. Really just nothing going on offense. And on your point with his teammates on the bench, I believe every person on that bench is actually his teammate. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Good point, good point, good catch. Three won't go. Rebound Luber. TABC comes down with it. Jutsko has thought about the triple. Over to Luber. Mid range jump shot. That's short. Rebound by Lipschitz. Yeah, another example of TABC just missing open shots. Not much you can do about that. And here comes a trap. Schloss gets the steal, goes up with the layup, can't get it to go. Rebound, Jutskowitz can't get it to go either. Another steal, they can't get it to go either. And another missed opportunity for TABC. And they're not doing any favors for their shooting percentage right now. As Elisor Charvi got a little too excited, picked up his feet before dribbling, that's gonna be a travel. A lot of travels in this game on Fuchs. I believe that's number four, maybe even number five at this point. Doesn't seem to matter as they have a 24-point lead as we're winding down this game. Yeah. And Fuchs is well on their way for a championship matchup against the DRS Wildcats tomorrow afternoon as Chutzko has guess one to go. And it's a 47-26 game. Here comes the full court pressure from the Storm. Lift shits over to Katz. Lifshitz over to Gorfinkel inside. Back to Gorfinkel. Gorfinkel inside. Cats outside three from Charvit. Guess it to go. Uh, DL Charvit, I'll eat sore Charvit. It doesn't matter. Charvit's going to hit that from three. And Fuchs has hit the 50 point mark. 50 to 26, just over two minutes to go. Very impressive by the freshman to keep his composure and hit that three. Three won't go. We're going to have a jump ball. And the ref motion for TABC basketball, although the scorer's table says it should be Fuchs basketball. And I don't know if they even notice. And now they're asking the shot clock to be adjusted. 
or not. Jutkowitz open three. That won't go as Joel gets the rebound. And here's Lipschitz. Gorfinkel in trouble, gets it over. Corner start beat again, can he do it again? That one in and out, won't go. Uh, I believe that's the first miss from Charvit tonight from three. And even then, that was in and out. As number 15, Gila Jutkowicz can't get that layup to go. And with one and a half minutes to go, TABC trailing 24. Pass inside to Joel. Joel hesitated, stolen by Schloss. And here he comes the other way. Jutkowicz thought about it, back to Schloss. Guerin. Hard jab, goes left, goes up the middle, and he's got he's going to go to the line for two on a nice attack. Yeah, Aiden Gurren's played really well all tournament. Only a junior, I assume that he's going to be a big piece for TABC going forward next year. And looking forward to tomorrow's Tier 2 championship between Fuchs and DRS, barring some crazy magic from TABC. It's really, been, uh, it's really been a good tournament for Fuchs. They w had to go against undefeated Yeshiva League champions North Shore in their Tier 1 qualifier, and they put up a really ad admirable effort. They wound up losing by, I believe, 12 in that game, but they, that was really close up until the end. Very admirable effort over there, and really since then they've blown out the competition in every game they've played, and I'm sure they're really hoping to do that against number 9 seed DRS. As Gurren gets the layup to go for TABC, Joel outside, Lipschitz, and they're just holding the ball now as the clock winds down here. Katz outside, lifts his mid-range jump shot. That's off the glass. He gets it to go. Bank is open late on a Sunday. The bank is open late. As TABC with the final offensive position in the game. Luber for three. He's got, got it. Got it to go. Yona Luber from downtown. He was trying for a while. Finally got it there on the last possession. And Fuchs will now hold it as their fans recognize that they've got a, a spot in a Tier 2 championship game tomorrow against the DRS Wildcats as Fuchs wins this one 52 to 31. And don't go anywhere because we have the YU Pathways Program post game show where we'll interview the stars of the game coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Master Athletic Center where the Fuchs Mizaki Mayhem just beat the TABC Storm 53 to 32. And welcome to the Wild U Pathways Program post game show. Start your future career sooner and save time and money with one of our Wild U Pathways programs. Earning credits to or applying for a graduate degree as early as your junior year. Visit yu.edu slash pathways for more information. And now to send it down with, to SJ Tannenbaum with the stars of the game. Take it away, SJ. I'm standing here with Mr. Nate Jacobs, Adiel, Sharv Adiel Sharvit, and Ephraim Blau here. Nate, 11 points, 10 rebounds, that's a double-double. Adiel, three-point sniper, a bunch of threes throughout the game. And Ephraim, 13, seven, and six. 
Guys, what did your coach say to you guys at, during, at, in the locker room during halftime? Because I don't know if you guys know, I'm sure you felt on the court, but you guys outscored TABC 25-2 to two in the third quarter. So what was said to get you guys on that, on that run in the third quarter? Um, our coach always says we got to play as a unit, we got to play cohesively, and we just got to be one. That's who we are. That's who we've been all year. I mean, when we stick to our principles, when we play as one, that's when we, that's when we play our best, and that's when we play team basketball. And it's been great. I mean, these guys, everyone here, like, we work so hard all, all year for this. And when we stick to our principles and we do the things that we do in practice, that's what kept, like, they kept telling us, like, do what we do in practice. Like, this is why we're here. This is what we do. So it was great to just play as a unit, and that's why, yeah. I mean, like, first half, shots weren't really falling, but defensively, like, we felt we were playing excellent. So coach just said, like, we're taking great shots, and in the second half, we continue taking our shots, we continue defensively, and, like, we're just going to run up the score, and that's just exactly what happened. The first half, uh, we saw that in the first quarter stuff was kind of falling for us, but not as much as it was in the third. But going into the locker room at halftime, we were told, uh, let's just do what we do. And we've been being told that all season long, and we decided to just press, uh, put our foot to the pedal a little more, and we had some energy going into that quarter, and we knew we wanted to put it away before, before the fourth, so that's what we did. Now, it's said that this year's team is the greatest Fiyus Mizrahi Mayhem team of all time. When you guys have had all your players, you've only lost one game, and that's against North Shore in the first round. What is your guys' mentality now going into the two, Tier 2 championships against a very powerful DRS Wildcats team? Underdog mentality. We spoke about it all season. I mean, if people have heard, we've played guys that are 7-4. We've played public schools. We've played a lot of these teams, and we have to embrace that we're the underdog sometimes. We're the 14 seed, they're the 9 seed, and just embrace that we're the underdogs, play our game, and stay hungry. When we're all together, when we have the whole team, like you said, one loss, um, it was a tough loss, but like, um, when we're all together, when we're all playing our own game, like, you know, we play super well, and I can't see us losing if we all play like we do. We know they're a physical team, but something we gotta keep in the back of our minds when we're playing them is that we can't let them change our game. We just have to do our thing, and hopefully the outcome is what we want. Guys, good luck in the championships. You guys are from Cleveland. I'm sure LeBron would be proud. Keep it up. Bring a championship back to the land. Thank you so much. Tier two. Thank you, SJ. As Fuchs Mazaki will advance to tomorrow's Tier 2 championship game at, at 12.30 p.m. Make sure to tune into that game as Fuchs will battle against DRS. And the next game taking place in about seven minutes will be the Orachayim against Cooper. And you're not going to want to miss that game because basketball is still being played. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>